Hi, Michael Hurwich here for CreativeCow.net. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at a new feature in Autodesk Maya 2011, the camera sequencer. This basically allows you to bring in a sequence from a video editor like Final Cut Pro or Sony Vegas and use it as a guide for your editing in Maya. We're going to be using this with the advanced authoring format, AAF. That's the format that we're going to export and import the sequence with. We're going to export from Sony Vegas and import into Maya. To familiarize yourself with this feature, the camera sequencer, you can take a look at the help files in Maya, and there's also a good tutorial on YouTube. This tutorial on YouTube demonstrates this feature with Final Cut Pro, and I'll be demonstrating it with Sony Vegas. I did run into a couple of issues in exporting an AAF file from Vegas and importing it into Maya, but I found workarounds for each one of them. One of them was that when I used stills to produce my animatic in Vegas, it ended up producing a lot of clips in the camera sequencer in Maya. And there are actually a number of different solutions to this, but I just chose to render out AVI files from the stills and then export the AAF file based on those AVI files. Another one was that the animatic didn't show up in the Maya viewport. And the solution to that was to attach an image plane to each clip in the camera sequencer. And this is actually a bug, and Autodesk has logged it, so hopefully this workaround won't be necessary in the future. And the last one was that the default names that Vegas gave to the AVI files caused a failure to attach when I tried to do the attach image plane. And the solution to that was just to rename the AVI files. So let's start with Sony Vegas. And here is our sequence in Sony Vegas. It's just three stills. Here we have Tyrannosaurus Rex, Tyrannosaurus Rex picking up a car, and the Tyrannosaurus Rex carrying the car. So I'm going to try exporting this as an AAF and importing it into Maya. So I go to File, and I just go to Save As. And it gives me the option to save as AAF. In fact, there's two types of AAF. Protocol Compliant and the Avid Legacy. I'll choose Protocol Compliant and Save. Then I'll minimize that and bring up Maya. Now the first thing I need to do is get into the camera sequencer. So to do that, I go to Window, Animation Editors, Camera Sequencer. And here I am in the sequencer. And I don't have any content in the sequencer yet. So I go to File, and Import Editorial. And here I have my file that I just exported from Vegas. And I'll import that. Now you notice that this imports this as a lot of little shots. Now there are actually a number of ways to work around this. For example, I could group these shots in the camera sequencer. But instead, I'm just going to undo. I'll just do a series of Control zs here to completely undo that import and then I'm going to go back into Vegas. And I'm going to render out three AVI files to use instead of the stills. I'm going to do this by doing a batch render of these stills to AVI files. So I'm going to double click on this still, creates the gray bar above it, then I'm going to hit the R key to create a region. I'll just name this region 1. Double click on the second clip, hit the R key, name this region 2. Really doesn't matter what I name the regions, it's just whatever is short and easy. Double click on this clip, get the gray bar, click R, and I'll name that 3. Now I'll go to Tools, Scripting, Batch Render. I get this error. I'm not sure what this is about, but I'm just going to ignore it. Click Ignore three times, 
and I get the batch render dialog. I'll open the video for Windows section. I'm going to choose this 640 by 480 P and render regions and click OK. So here are the three AVI files that got created and I'm going to bring those back into Vegas now. This is the first one, second one, and third one. And I'll just right click and delete that audio track since I don't need that. Now I'm going to mute this top track here and I'm going to export AAF again. File, Save As, AAF. And this time I'll name it AAF Cam Sequencer 1. So now I'll go back into Maya and I'll go to File, Import Editorial, and import that CAM sequencer 1. And you can see that that gives me just three clips, just exactly the way I want it. But if you look in the viewport here, you'll notice I'm not seeing the dinosaur. Even if I double click on a clip, I'm seeing these lines here. This is actually a camera that we're looking at. Let me go to View, Frame All, there's that camera or view, default view, you can really see that that's a camera. So that's what those green lines are. What we want to see there is the dinosaur in order to guide our 3D animation. The way to do that is to attach an image plane to each of these clips. So I've got this clip selected, I right click on it, attach image plane, and we'll select this first AVI file select it and click open and it basically just hangs nothing happens and it turns out that Maya doesn't like this file name so I'm going to get out of that come back here and I'm going to rename each one of these right click rename I'll rename this 1.avi 2.avi and 3.avi Minimize that. Now I'll come back here again in Maya. Right click, attach image plane. Here are those renamed files. Choose 1.avi and open. And it comes in just fine. And here you can see the dinosaur. If I scroll along here, you see the second one has the camera. But I select that, right click, attach image plane, 2.avi. And here's that second sequence from the animatic. Go to the final clip, select it, right click, attach image plane. And that brings us to exactly what we want. Let me just make this a little smaller here and just scroll through that. So that concludes this tutorial on importing an AAF file into the camera sequencer in Maya 2011.